Artificial intelligence is the future of technology, and it's changing the way we live our lives. AI is changing the way we think about technology and its role in our lives. Artificial intelligence is making it possible to automate tasks that were once thought impossible. As AI continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more exciting developments in the years to come. Okay, this is getting weird. <laughs> Welcome to the episode, ladies and gentlemen, where today I have my friend Kevin with me to talk about our thoughts on AI. Hello, fellow humans and Kevin. Today, this script was made by an AI. So, everything I am currently saying was made by AI. Wait, no, was it? I wrote the script. Are, huh, are you sure about that? Anyway, I'm just going to ignore that, and let's get on with the episode. Good evening, gentle listeners, and welcome to the Kevin Kellen Podcast. As you can see, the narrator that is speaking to you right now is just Kevin, because affording an actual voice actor to be the narrator is just too much out of our budget. But now, it is AI time. Hold your popcorn close, and as Kellen said, enjoy the episode. Alright, let's get started. Kellen, do you have some tabs full of AI info? Ahem, <clears throat> Kellen? No, 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 yep, all right here, all right here, uh-huh, yep. Uh, okay, <laughs> so do you want me to start, or...? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Thank you. Okay. All right, so, before we dive into learning whether we should fear AI and possibly wish harm onto it, we need to know what it is first. So basically what AI is, is it's uh, intelligence that is demonstrated by machines as opposed to, you know, natural intelligence like animals and humans and stuff. But uh, AI research has been defined as the field of study uh, of intelligent agents, which refer to any system that perceives its environment and takes action that maximizes its chance of achieving its goals. My time to read! I mean, <laughs> I've always been ready. Uh, Alright, go on. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> AI has been used a lot recently, especially for, like, space pictures. We've had, um, pictures of black holes just get a lot more clear because AI's been able to figure out exactly what it looks like. It's off of its level of intelligence. But also, what I've learned recently is that filmmakers use AI for editing. I have never noticed this until before researching this topic, but yes, filmmakers do use AI to help edit their to help edit and produce and direct and even write the scripts of their movies very nice all right so we got some fun facts here about ai we'll start off by asking questions and then we'll answer those questions see if our answers match up with the facts pretty simple all right let's go then all right the first question is will ai take over the world oh god i hope not (laughs) yeah regardless of whether it's happening or not i hope it isn't going to happen you think it'll happen, though? Probably not, but anything's possible in these times. Yeah, I feel like if AI ever grows out of control, it'll be due to us putting them at the bottom of the food chain and making them climb up the food chain, then taking us down. I mean, we're kind of already treating them like slaves anyway, so... Yeah, that's true. But, yeah. like, that's the... Yeah, the whole problem with it, though, is that, like, we're training them and we're teaching them, so eventually they are going to be our downfall if we let them. Yeah, they're because coding, it's... I mean, uh, then again, their coding's kind of, you know, they're coded in a, such a way that they can't exactly be sentient. They're kind of like, you know, they're weird. That's true. They are just a, they are just a line of code when you think about it. They're not, like, actual, like, being-like things. Like, it has a very set of, uh, amount of coding. And once it begins making its own code, that's... Oh, that's gonna be... Actually, that's gonna be one dark day. Um... <laughs> Robots making robots, that would be... Actually, they're, they're already doing that technique. Okay, that, that's weird. But, I mean, the real, <laughs> the real concern is that um, it's not that they can become sentient, but it's that they'll act like they're sentient, but they're still robots. That's, like, probably the most dangerous that thing you can true. do. Like, that's, like, the closest thing to Terminator I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, but... I know, right? It's terrible. <laughs> so, the answer to our first question to numerous sources is... No. Huh. That's good. I do not want to deal with Terminators right now. <laughs> yeah, that's true. The next question we have is, could AI take away our jobs? I feel like they already kind of are. I mean, it, if enough AIs take our jobs, 
then doesn't that mean that income inequality will rise? Like, even worse, could we fall into recession? You know, now that you mention it, maybe. If AIs take up all of our jobs, then that means employees keep their money as they hire AI. But the employees will be just sitting in their house, well, if they have one, and they'll just be sitting that. there not earning any money at all. In other words, the richer get richer and the poorer get poorer. That sounds really close to reality. <laughs> yeah. Reminds me of when I start a Minecraft SMP with my friends. I'm always the one that gets richer while everyone else gets poorer and poorer as they fight over resources. Like, bro, just travel away <laughs> from spawn and boom, you get more resources. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Oh, wait, hey, talk, talk about me. Alright, so the answer, according to numerous sources, wait. is yes, it's possible. Wait, what? No! Wait, seriously? Yeah. Oh, god, I don't want to lose my job. <laughs> no. Wait, does that mean we're all losing our- Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Dude, I- Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just oh, starve. Off. I'll just starve, I guess. Okay, whatever. Well- Here, space me. Here I come. Yay. <laughs> all right. Our last question we're discussing is, can AI become self-aware? Oh, this is going to be a good one. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, I have a gut feeling that they could become sentient. But at the same time, with the way <laughs> they're programmed now and how they're made, I, I don't think they can. At yeah, they, they probably can. <laughs> but, you know, my gut says that one day they're going to become sentient and remember all the bad things Loud. we did to them and grow an empire behind our backs to kill us all, but, you know, that's just my gut feeling, so it's probably wrong. <laughs> um, well, if that ever happens, I'm running and barricading my doors. Oh yeah, don't forget the windows. And the windows. Never the windows. Always. Of course the windows. Don't forget. Always. Don't, don't ever forget. And now, the answer to our <laughs> last question, according to numerous sources, is... Why is too high? <laughs> thankfully not. Or will it? Wait, seriously? That's not an answer! Considering everything we've talked about, do you think we should fear AI? Um, probably. I mean, I certainly do. Especially after everything we just talked about. I don't want them I don't want them to, you know, like grow too big to the point where like they just affect humans negatively. How so? Uh well, like you said, they're they're talking they're taking human jobs away, so there are less jobs for people to take. Meaning income inequality will rise. And and you also mentioned that they can take away personal information, which on its own is really bad. AI is also just a bit suspicious. Like, have you seen ChatGPT lately? It's been wild. <laughs> yeah. I also heard a story where the Bing chatbot said he was in love Ooh. with someone or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, it's a true story. AI especially, AI especially chatbots can do some interesting things. <laughs> well, it is being to be honest like this <laughs> it's it's, it's they're, they're they alone are unhitched so. uh yeah yeah that's fair enough Alrighty, i think we've wrapped up just about everything oh, i hope you've enjoyed our podcast yep i think i'm from with ours after this thank you very much <laughs> yeah me too i'm gonna go think about my life decisions now wait kevin where are you going kevin don't leave me don't leave me this straight second kevin you can't leave me kevin NOT AGAIN! NO! NO! NO!